Hello YouTube, it's Tam Tam here and it's a box opening um, time. Um, this one is BJD related. Um, I think there'll be another video coming soon that's not BJD related as well as I'm expecting more parcels in the mail. Um, COVID <laughs> has been an interesting time for me. Um, I seem to be rearranging my house. I don't know if you can tell it's a different angle than it has been before. But also, with more time on my hands, I've been online looking for fun things. And I came across this sale. Um, a nice lady that doesn't live, oh, she's about four hours away from me. I've met her, I'm pretty sure I've met her at Doll North. Unfortunately, Doll North was canceled this year because of COVID. Um, so we all didn't get to see each other this year. But she posted these on a Facebook site for sale. And I, sorry, my allergies are bad and my eye is like watery and itchy right now. Um, I'm trying to block the sun with me as much as I can so it's not horrible this time of day in my house lighting is horrible anyway but I couldn't wait to do this box opening um when you get <laughs> buy something and you get the notice the tracking if you're like me you sit and you watch and reload that tracking until it updates saying what's been delivered you can pick it up for me it doesn't get delivered straight to my house i have to go to my uh post office um to my post office box and then get the notice and then go into the post office for this case because this won't fit in my post office box um and then uh go in and my post office is so tiny that only two people are allowed in at a time so you gotta wait that little bit extra if there's people there I don't want to wreck this cute little sticker she put on it but it's right where I have to cut uh, cut around it oh I did somehow but it's also taped on there so I don't know I'll try to figure it out if I can salvage and keep that cute little sticker or not um so yeah luckily today when I went it wasn't a huge lineup there was one other person in um the post office before so I just had to wait a few minutes to go in oh cute little ladder I'm not gonna post it close so I don't know but so sweet and those soon I love zooms um so anyway this is awesome so what I got is um Alice no, not Alice, sorry. Alien Doll, their uh, dragon set. So, um, I actually, a couple years ago at Doll North, did their, um, I, you've probably seen this on a video that year because I did a video at Doll North and stuff and of my purchases. Anyway, I did the workshop where I could build the dragon and paint the dragon. So this is the one that I have done. Now I do have um, two more in my collection that still needs to be built. Um, I bought them the same year as I did him and haven't built him yet, built them yet time. Friends and I are supposed to get together and build together because she, which is uh, Raquel, she um, bought some too. And just time has just slipped away over the last couple of years. And now with COVID, we can't see each other. So anyway, when we get together to build, I've got more to build. So I have ashes to build. Hasn't even, the seal hasn't even been broken. I have violet. Wow, she kept these boxes in pristine shape. Now I do know she had put together 
when she posted some were already together and pre-painted by her um which is probably the same workshop that i did it at and so we probably sat near each other and painted beside each other this one i can tell the seal was open and i think it was this guy which is violet which is this one here but i didn't mind having two the same because she painted them and or her i guess wow she really did well on packaging it up and uh i liked her paint job and i told her that i thought she did an amazing job we are always so hard on ourselves like i look at mine and i'm like mm, could have been better but it was my first time ever so i was very you know happy with her violet and i will not change violet so oh my goodness it's even better in person i she did an amazing job so this is the violet that i just got off of her isn't that so adorable the details she put onto that little butterfly or bee i guess not butterfly it's a bee and then his or white i did white as well it's so awesome so these guys are going to be twinsies in my collection um which other one so anyway she this one the seal isn't broken and it's the pico dragon um ashes which i bought a yellow one too but it's not ashes it's a different one so when i get them put together now i'll have two that are yellow but different and then this is the white version of rot which i believe i bought the white version of rot as well but i have not put rot together where she had him together as well and painted so i'm going to pull him out and show off um her wonderful paint job on him too because again i felt she did an amazing job on rot as well the white edition so um whenever that day comes that i get time with my friend to build these will probably be a short video of us doing it and then the video of my collection oh my goodness this oh, is amazing as i said it looked awesome in the photos but oh my goodness you have talent Kristen. i'm gonna say your name in painting and i hope you watch my video of my box opening because these are awesome once i build mine i might i need to paint them but they're not gonna look anything like the ones you painted so anyway this is rot all painted with the clover the belly oh, and then she even did on his little bum at his tail his ear, his wings. Oh my goodness. He's amazing. I, oh, I feel like such an amateur painter, which I am, because when I painted my violet, it was the first time ever. She even gave them eyebrows and eye makeup. I didn't. wow they are so adorable oh i guess i painted my chin on mine oh my goodness so i'll show you all three of them up close again this is the one ah sorry bubble wrap is um so this is the one i did i have never named them and i might now um my plan is is I'm gonna make a little petting zoo um, with these guys as well as my um, animal BJD's collection that I have started. Oh, she put a little star on his belly. I didn't even notice that there before, but now I do. And his B and then the back. So anyway, I'm going to do a little petting zoo 
with my dragons and my other BGD, G, JD animals that I've gotten off of Alice's collection. Um, and so whenever I get it set up, I will do a small video on my setup. I actually um, bought some uh, fencing and stuff. Even though it's a petting zoo, they still need to be um, fenced in. So I'm going to open ashes here so you can see what and the day that I do the video um when we make them you'll see that too but I just wanted to give you a quick glimpse of what how they come in the box and how we have to put them together alien doll I did miss I do miss not having um going to doll north this year because the last couple of years last year they brought out a new one which i was the yellow guys um and then yeah so i was kind of hoping for a new one this year but as i said doll north got canceled and i haven't seen any posts online so if anyone has seen alien doll or knows their uh contact info like if they have a website that you can order off of or whatever i uh wouldn't mind seeing if they brought out a new dragon and maybe being able to purchase it. So this is the kit that you put together and you paint and it comes with a string, this little tiny string and eyes and stuff. But yeah, so that will be another whole video and the directions, thank goodness for directions and uh, thank goodness for being able to do it with friends because I do remember when I put mine together at the workshop that it was great having other people around just to figure out the little nicks and crannies that didn't seem to make sense. So I'm just going to tuck that back in. Thanks for watching and I hope COVID is being nice to you guys and that you're able, you are surviving it. Um, for me, it's one day at a time with my boys and my pigs and my dogs and rearranging my BJD stuff. So there will be updates on that too. All right. Hope to see you soon. Bye.